and thanks for joining Making Artistic Recipes Kitchen Style for today's gardening segment. Today we're going to be planting squash seeds. In this tray, which I purchased from my local feed store um, for less than two bucks, and it comes with a drain tray at the bottom. We also have squash seeds. You're going to need some peroxide. We're going to use 3% peroxide and in your bottle you'll put three parts water, one part peroxide. Also, you'll need some crushed eggshells, not many, just a few. And you'll need a 13 gallon trash bag if your tray is as large as mine. If not, you can use a smaller trash bag. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off by putting our seeds in our tray. I usually use two per cup because, you know, one may not survive, and if it doesn't, then I'll have the other one. Also, you want to use your peroxide and water mix. That stimulates the um, seeds and make them germinate faster, and it also helps prevent disease. So, once you put your seeds in your tray, two per cup, you're going to spray with your peroxide and water mix, and then we're going to add the shells, and then we'll spray one more time. So let's get started. Okay, once you push your seeds down, you may not have enough soil to cover them depending on the size of your cups. And these cups are really small. So all you would have to do is bring in a little excess soil and just make sure that they're completely covered. In your tray. Okay, now that we've covered them completely with soil, we have them pushed down in our tray, we are going to go to the next step. You can go ahead and spray once with your peroxide and water mix. Go ahead and add your eggshells. The eggshell is like a organic fertilizer. It also protects them from certain bugs, but we won't have an issue with the bugs because we're gonna do a with your self greenhouse today so nothing will be able to get on them but it will protect them from snails and things like that okay so now that we're done with that we're just going to spray them again Okay, our next step is going to be a trash bag. This trash bag is going to serve as a greenhouse. So it's like a greenhouse for less than a dollar. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide our tray. Inside the bag. Just like this. 
and you can twist it and tie it tight so no air or anything else can get inside. And we're gonna sit this out in the sun and these should be up in just a few days. So you can, if you have several of these bags like I do in other vegetables like eggplant and so forth, you can take a marker and write on here what this is so you'll be able to recognize this tray once they pop up. So in just a few days, we'll do another update. Thanks for visiting Making Artistic Recipes Kitchen Style for today's gardening segment. Also, you can check below for a link to this coldest water bottle. I recently got this and I absolutely love it. It's perfect when I'm out in the heat for gardening. It keeps me from getting thirsty. And we have a link in the description box below where you can get a discount off of this so you can have your own coldest water bottle. It keeps things cold for up to 36 hours. Thanks for viewing and have a good day. Bye.